Hello friends welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make 3D Shine logo animation. Let's have a look. Let's start. Create a new composition, name it as a logo. Here I am using 1920 by 1080 pixels at frame rate 25. Time duration is 10 seconds. Let's import our logo. Add it to the timeline. Let's create another composition. Name it as a box. Here I am using 400 by 400 pixels at frame rate 25. Time duration is 10 seconds. Let's add our logo composition. Press S to bring up the scale. Scale it for 30%. Create a new solid. Make sure background color is set to white. Place it below logo composition. In effects and preset search for tint. Add it to logo composition. Change map white to solid black color. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as animation. Change composition preset to 1080p HD. Now add box composition to timeline. Make composition 3D and motion blur. Now let's create 6 duplicate of box composition. Select first box. Go to transform. Unlock the scale, change the scale to 101 for X and Y axis. Change orientation for Y axis to 90. Do this for remaining 4 boxes. Select second box, go to transform, unlock the scale, change the scale to 101 for X and Y axis. Change orientation for Y axis to 270. Select third box, go to transform, unlock the scale, change the scale to 101 for X and Y axis, change orientation for X axis to 90. Select fourth box, go to transform, unlock the scale, change the scale to 101 for X and Y axis, change orientation for X axis to 270. Select fifth box. Go to transform. Unlock the scale. Change the scale to 101 for X and Y axis. Change orientation for X axis and Z axis to 180. Let's hide sixth box for some time. Position the boxes as shown in such a way that they form a square shape. Select box 5. Press P to bring up position. Change Z axis value to 180. Select box 6. Press P to bring up position. Change Z axis value to minus 200. Unhide the composition. Now let's create a new camera. Go to transform. Change position value for X axis to 0, Y axis to 0, Z axis to minus 1251. Go to camera option. Change zoom value to 1251. Aperture to 12 pixels. Create a new null object. Make it a 3D and blur. On the motion blur, select null object. Go to transform. Come back to start. 
create a keyframe for scale, X rotation, Y rotation. Change scale to 143. X rotation to 2. Y rotation to 3. Go 5 seconds forward. Change scale to 80. X rotation to 0. Y rotation to 0. Select all keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph. For camera. Change parent to null object. Select camera. Go to transform. Change position value for x axis to 0, y axis to 0, z axis to minus 1251. This is what we have created so far. Create a new adjustment layer. In effects and presets search for invert. Add it to the adjustment layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate of the adjustment layer. Remove invert. In effects and presets search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change amount to 100. Create a keyframe. Go 5 seconds forward. Change amount to 97. Go 15 frames forward. Change amount to 0. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Create another duplicate of the adjustment layer. Remove radial fast blur. In effects and preset search for tint. Add it for two times to adjustment layer. Press T to bring up the opacity. Go two seconds forward. Create a keyframe for opacity. Go 5 seconds 15 frames forwards change the value to 0. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Create another duplicate of the adjustment layer. Remove one tint. Change map white to light green color. Press T to bring up the opacity. Remove keyframes. Go one second forward. Create a keyframe for opacity. Change value to 100. Go three second forward change value to zero. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Create another duplicate of the adjustment layer. Change map white to light blue color. Remove previous keyframes. Come back to 0th second. Change value to 100. Create a keyframe for opacity. Go 2 seconds forward change value to 0. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Add logo composition to timeline. Press S to bring up the scales. Now we need to scale our logo. Change value to 47. Press T to bring up the opacity. At 5 seconds create a keyframe for opacity. Set value to 0. Go 2 seconds forward change value to 100. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Y to create a new adjustment layer. In effects and presets search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Press T to bring up the opacity. Create a keyframe for opacity at 5 second. Go 2 seconds forward. Change value to 0. 
Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Change saturation value to 100. Select all layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as final. Draw the mask over final composition as shown. Our logo animation is ready. Thank you for watching. If you have any query or question you are free to comment below. If you like this tutorial then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.